In this short video, I'll show you how to create a cutaway configuration of an assembly. Here's the default configuration of a belt tensioner assembly. And here is the cutaway configuration. So I'll show you how to quickly create this cutaway configuration and how to insert it into a drawing. So here's the default configuration of the belt tensioner in SolarWorks. And if you go over here to the design tree, the configuration name appears here in brackets after the assembly name. I'll start by going to the configuration manager. There is already an exploded configuration here as well as the default configuration. So if I right click at the top of the tree there and go add configuration, I'll create a new configuration, which I will call cutaway. So click OK on that. The cutaway configuration is now the active configuration. If I go back to my feature manager design tree, you see cutaway here in brackets after the assembly name. What we're going to do here is we're going to create a cut at the assembly level. So I'm going to open a sketch on the top plane of the assembly. SolarWorks looks in normal to it there like that. Draw a rectangle. Start at the origin. And I'll drag it out there to the right like that. I don't want to use any dimensions here. So I'm going to relate this bottom line of our rectangle to the edge here of the pulley by control selecting them. And I'll add a collinear relation and that will fully define the rectangle in that direction. Similarly, if I click this edge here on the rectangle, press control select the edge here of our model and make those collinear also. So now we have a sketch here. It's on the top plane of the assembly and I'm going to use this to cut through our model. So if you go over here to the assembly toolbar, you will find extruded cut. Now what I advise you to do here is use through all both and I'm going to ignore our feature scope for the moment and we're just going to click OK and that will slice through the entire assembly, cutting all of our parts. If I were to switch between configurations and go back to the default configuration, you'll see that the cut only applies in the active configuration. We haven't actually cut these parts at all, as you can see here in the default configuration. Now let's go back to our cutaway configuration. So if you look here at the bottom of your assembly design tree, you'll see cut extrude one has been added underneath the mates folder. Now, if I select edit feature, I can go in and edit the components that are cut by this through all cut in both directions. So you only want to apply the cut to this configuration and under here, select the components in feature scope. I can decide what components I want to cut. Now, I don't want to cut the spindle. So if I click on the spindle there and press the delete key, I can remove the spindle from the cut. I do want to cut the pulley and I do want to cut the bush for the pulley. So we'll leave those there. The locking stud, I don't want to cut that. So if you delete it out of this box here, you can remove it from the cut. Let's click OK. It's not finished, but just click OK and just have a look at our model now. So you can see here now we've removed the spindle and I've removed the locking adjusting screw there from the cut. I'm going to go back in and edit the feature again. And in here, in this window here, under selected components and feature scope, I'm going to also remove the adjusting screw. Now, another way to remove components from the cut, instead of clicking them here and press delete, when this window is active, if you click on it here in the graphics area, that will also delete the component out. So it's now gone back to its original color, as you can see there. And now we're left with the components that are actually going to be cut. So in this case, I'm cutting the bracket and the spacer the pulley and the actual bushing in the pulley as well. You'll see here that we have a sub assembly here of the bush and the pulley. So click OK on that. There's your cutaway configuration. Let's save our belt tensioner. So there's your default configuration if I double click on it. And there's our cutaway configuration. And the difference is 
So we go back to the default configuration. This feature is simply suppressed in that configuration. So it doesn't cut the components. So in the default configuration, the cut extrude is suppressed. If I go to the configuration manager, go back to cutaway configuration, and in the cutaway configuration, the cut extrude is unsuppressed. Now SolidWorks will automatically suppress this new cut extrude feature at the assembly level in all the other configurations. So here's our cutaway configuration. Let's make a drawing of this. So we'll go new, make drawing from part assembly. Select your drawing template. I'll pick a for landscape third angle and click OK. If you go over here to the view palette, you will find your isometric view here. So let's drag that in. And here is the cutaway configuration. Let's change the color of it. So we'll show it in shaded with edges mode. Change the scale of a sheet to one is the two. And I'll place the model there. Now you do want to hide the origins. So you click on the I drop down, hide the origins. Depending on your template settings, you may have some center lines in here and you don't really need those on your isometric view. So you can delete those from your model. So here's the cutaway view of our belt tensioner brought in to our drawing. Now, if you want to copy this view, you can click on the border there and go control C and then somewhere over here, go control V and you've copied that particular view. Now on this view here, I'm going to change the reference configuration to default. So now this is the default configuration inside in our drawing. And of course, this here on the right is the cutaway configuration, but we can switch here between our different configurations. So there you have it. That's how to create a cutaway configuration of an assembly and how to bring that through into your drawing. Thanks for watching.